Hello everyone. You are watching my YouTube channel Chemistry by Sadhanwar. My name is Sadhanwar and I am Triple Science Coach. I have been providing my tutoring services across the globe. This is my WhatsApp number and you can contact me via this WhatsApp number for one-on-one -on -one online sessions. Today the topic which we are going to discuss the topic is a chemistry topic. The name of the topic is redox reaction. In this topic, we will focus upon what actually redox reaction is, and then we will solve the concept by using different examples, different questions, obviously from the past papers. So oxidation and reduction, these are two terms which are frequently used in redox reactions. So what does oxidation means? Oxidation has three definition given in book, but the definition I will choose here, I will choose the definition with respect to electrons. What does this mean? Oxidation means, oxidation means loss of electron, loss of electron. Those chemical reactions mm -hmm. in which loss of electron takes place, we said, Oxidation is taking place and reduction means gain of electron. Reduction is a term, guys. Reduction means here gain of electrons. It means those chemical reactions where the process of gain of electrons, gaining of electron will take place. We call reduction is taking place there. So oxidation is loss of electron. Reduction is gain of electron. Yes. Most of the students already know this, but the point is they forget, they forget. So there is a trick. By using this trick, I am pretty sure you will not forget what is the definition of oxidation and what is the definition of reduction. Oxidation is loss of electron. And I used to remember this term by using oil, oil. What is oil? Is oil is a is oil that we use over here? No, not at all. O mean oxidation. O mean oxidation. I mean, I mean is, I'll mean loss. Loss of what? Loss of what guys? Loss of electrons. To remember reduction, the term which I used, Rick, Rick. What does this mean, Rick? This means nothing but to remember reduction. R mean here reduction. And I mean is G mean gain. Reduction is gain. Gain of what? Obviously electrons. So reduction is gain of elect electron. Oxidation is loss of electron. And those reactions in which the process of oxidation and the process of reduction takes place simultaneously. We call such reaction redox reaction. Redox, the term redox means the, pro the process of oxidation and reduction is taking place simultaneously at a time in a chemical reaction. The next term which we are going to use is, this is page number one, this is page number two. This is page number two. The next term which we are going to discuss is oxidation number. Oxidation number. And we also say oxidation number or oxidation state, both are same thing. Because it's very important to understand what is oxidation number and how to figure out oxidation numbers, then it will be easy to figure out where oxidation is taking place and where reduction is taking place. Like as we have discussed this term, so in the exam, they ask questions, they give us reaction, they give us a chemical reaction and they ask us, figure out where oxidation is taking place and where reduction is taking place. There are many other terms like oxidizing agent, like reducing agent, and we will discuss these terms as well. But okay, finally, let's discuss what actually oxidation number is and or, or oxidation state is. So guys, I have written the definition of oxidation number. Oxidation number or oxidation state is basically a charge on an atom 
of an element in a molecule or an ion. You don't need to memorize the definition and we can understand this definition by using examples. For example, I have an ion, sodium ion. I will ask you, what is the charge on this ion? You will say plus one, you will say plus one. This plus one is called oxidation state of sodium ion. This plus one is called oxidation state of sodium ion or oxidation number of sodium ion. If I ask you, this is F A plus three, iron with plus three charge, what is the oxidation number? You will say this plus three. This plus three is the oxidation state. This plus three is the oxidation number. So now I think by giving example, it is more easy to understand what actually oxidation number and what actually oxidation state is. For example, SO4 minus two. So this minus two guys, this minus two, this is oxidation number of sulfate. This is oxidation state. So yes, I know it is clear to you what actually oxidation number and oxidation state is. Now there are certain rules to assign oxidation number and oxidation state. Let me show you these rules from this using this book. And I am opening this book. In this book, I have found really good rules. Where is the, let me, yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the rules. And these rules are given with examples. Yes. Yes, guys. Yes. Okay. So these are the rules. And example is also given rules. Rules for what? Rules for assigning oxidation number. The oxidation, remember the first rule, remember the first rule. The oxidation number of an uncombined element is zero. Oxidation number of an uncombined element is zero. Uncombined element, what does this mean? This means the element which is in free state which is not making bond, uncombined element. For example, the oxidation number of H2 is, the ox in H2, the oxidation number of H is zero. In Cl2, the oxidation number of Cl is zero. So uncombined element, like the oxidation number of sodium in free state is zero. Oxidation number of copper in free state. Free state, it is not making bond. Oxidation number of iron is zero. Oxidation number of silver is zero. So oxidation number is zero when an element in free state. Oxidation number of oxygen in zero. Oxygen is, is in free state. It is not making bond with any different element. Oxidation number of hydrogen is zero. The oxidation number of chlorine is, chlorine is zero as this is written here as well. You can see guys. In H2, the oxidation number of H is zero. In Cl2, the oxidation number of Cl is zero. The next rule, jumping to the next rule, the oxidation number of an element in a simple monoatomic ion is the charge in the ion. Again, read guys. Oxidation number of an element in a simple monoatomic ion. Monoatomic ion means single ion. Like in zinc ion, the oxidation number of zinc is z plus two. In oxide ion, the oxidation number of oxygen is minus two. Similarly, let me give you more example. The oxidation number of copper is plus two. The oxidation number of iron, iron ion plus three. So this is the second rule. The third rule, which I am going to discuss with you, the oxidation number of hydrogen is plus one. You can say the oxidation number of hydrogen is plus one but there are, there are certain exceptions as well. Oxidation number of hydrogen is plus one. But in metal hydride, metal hydride, what does metal hydride mean, guys? Metal hydride means when hydrogen is making bond with the metal. When hydrogen is making bond with the metal, we call it metal hydride. In metal hydride, the oxidation number of hydrogen is minus one. Remember, remember the, in metal hydride, the oxidation number of hydrogen is minus one, while the oxidation number of hydrogen is plus one everywhere. But in metal hydride, the oxidation number of hydrogen is minus one. The next rule is about oxygen. The oxidation number of oxygen is really minus two. The oxidation number of oxygen is minus two. 
but there are certain exceptions to this rule as well. And let me give you that exception. Remember, oxidation number of oxygen is minus two, but in, in peroxide, in peroxide, peroxide means like H2O2 hydrogen peroxide. In peroxide, the oxidation number of oxygen is minus one. Remember guys, the oxidation number of oxygen is minus one in peroxide. Few other exception as well, but it's okay, fine. So the next, next rule, let me erase this. Okay, the next rule is given there, yes. This is another rule and you have to memorize this rule actually. By, by practicing, you can memorize these rules. The sum of oxidation number in a compound is zero. For example, H2O. That's H2O. That's the sum of oxidation number in a compound is zero. What does this mean? The oxidation number of oxygen is minus two. The oxidation number of hydrogen is plus one. Here you have two hydrogen, so it becomes plus two. So the overall oxidation number plus two minus two is equal to zero. This is the rule. In water, the oxidation number of hydrogen is plus one and the oxidation number of oxygen is minus two. The overall is, it, it comes zero. For example, let me give you another big complicated example of rule four, H2SO4. The oxidation number of oxygen is minus two. You have four oxygen here. So when you multiply minus two with four, you will get minus eight. The oxidation number of hydrogen is plus one, but you have two hydrogen here. So it goes plus two, comes out to be plus two. The oxidation of sulfur is plus six. So when you, add, it, it, it comes, it becomes plus eight and it becomes minus eight. When you add plus eight into minus eight, your answer will be a big zero. So the sum of oxidation number in a compound is zero. This is the rule. The next is the sum of oxidation number in a compound ion, my molecular ion, polyatomic ion is a charge on the ion. What does this mean? Like SO4 minus two, this is sulfate ion. So its oxidation number is minus two in the manganate ion, MnO4 negative manganate ion. The oxidation number, Okay, how to calculate the, yes, the oxidation number of manganate ion is minus one. Similarly, let me give you another example uh, of the rule five is, the oxidation number of ammonium ion is, you can say its oxidation number is plus one. Overall, the sum of oxidation number in a compound ion is the charge on the ion. Now, comes to this, that point, MnO4 negative. Plus, plus seven, what does plus seven mean here? Let me explain it guys. M, uh, M, N, O4 minus. Here, the oxidation number of, here the oxidation number of manganese is plus seven. How? You know, M, N, O4 is equal to minus one, a minus one, and you know oxygen has minus two oxidation state. You have four oxygen to multiply with four. Is it? So oxidation number of manganese you don't know yet. When you solve this answer will be minus eight is equal to minus one. For where, where this minus one is coming? Because it's a molecular ion. And according to rule five, the sum of oxidation number in a compound is molecular ion is the charge on the ion. So when you bring this minus A to the right side of equal to, when you bring this minus A to the right side of this equality sign, it comes out to be eight. And your answer will be plus seven. So this is the plus seven. How, this is how we solved it. Let me just uh, read a few more example. SO3, oxidation number of sulfur is plus six. SO4 minus two, the oxidation of 
sulfur is plus six. Let me let me elaborate these things by using example, by using whiteboard. Let me elaborate these things by using whiteboard. We're going to whiteboard, guys. This is the page number three. And for example, if I have SO4 minus two, and I need to calculate the oxidation number of sulfur, I need to calculate the oxidation number of sulfur. How can I calculate? Guys, see the procedure. You know, make, make this like this because overall charge is minus two. So, you know, oxidation number of oxygen is minus two, but you have four oxygen to multiply with four. You don't know the oxidation of sulfur yet. Oxidation number of sulfur yet. So it becomes minus eight is equal to minus two and minus two when you bring minus eight to the right of equality, it becomes plus six. So guys, you can say the oxidation number of sulfur is plus six. So this is the way to calculate it. Let me give you more example, like uh, SO2 here, here. The oxidation number, this is neutral. So you can do like this, SO2 is equal to zero. Previously, you said SO4 minus two is equal to minus, minus two because it has, upper end charge has minus two. Here, no charge, so zero. Here, you, what you have to do, you need to calculate the oxidation number of sulfur. See, oxygen is minus two. Oxidation number of one oxygen atom is minus two, but you have two oxygen atom here. So multiply minus two with two. And if you feel any confusion and you want one-on-one -on -one session, then don't hesitate to contact me. The oxidation number of sulfur is S. So it comes out to be, when you solve this, it comes out to be minus four. So when you bring minus four to the right, it becomes plus four. So oxidation number of sulfur is plus four. This is the way to calculate this. And let me calculate a few more things. Okay. One more example. I can give this example here. NH4 positive. And here you need to calculate oxidation number of nitrogen, oxidation number of nitrogen. So NH4 equal to plus one because overall charge is plus one. And guys, you know the oxidation number of hydrogen is plus one, but you have four hydrogen. So multiply this plus four is equal to plus one. It comes out to be plus four is equal to plus one. When you bring plus four to the right, when you bring plus four to the right, it becomes minus four and your final result is minus three. So oxidation number of nitrogen is minus three. So guys, this is about today lesson. And in the next lesson, in the next video, I will solve a few more example and I need your feedback comments. I need your suggestion. Thank you so much for watching it. Okay, bye-bye.